Mecca. I talk about the environment. I talk about ecology. And uh, in particular, I'm interested in uh, biodiversity. Biodiversity. Uh, what's biodiversity in Japanese? Biodiversity. I used to know that. Uh, what is it? Uh, do you know what biodiversity is? Anyway? Okay. COP10. COP10 in Nagoya was all about biodiversity, about plants and animals, and pr protecting plants and animals. So what is that in Japanese? Biodiversity. Diversity, what I would say. Okay, everybody knows what biodiversity is. So Japan has a lot of biodiversity, more than Canada, where I come from. But Japan is a small country with large biodiversity. And um, so when I'm in Japan, I'm interested in Japan's biodiversity. But in particular, I've been doing some research on bears in Japan. That's what I'm going to be talking about this afternoon. And I have a question that I hope that you will all answer for me at the end. And there's the question. Do the bears in Japan have a bright future? Do the bears in Japan have a bright future? It means bears, bears, yes. So I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little bit about bears, and you're going to think about whether the bears have a future. That animal over there in the corner <laughs> has, a, has a dark future, right? Yeah. Right? Because there are, they're, they're dying at a very fast rate. Yeah. And people, people are killing them and they are eating them. Terrible things are happening with tigers. So let's look at bears in, in and there are two types of bears. Um, sorry, this is all in English, but uh, I think you probably know this already. Yeah. It's Kinoa Guma on the right. Yeah. So I'll call those black bears. Um, and uh, they are found widely in Asia. Uh, and it's a different black bear than we have in North America. We have black bears in North America. They're different from, from the... Asiatic, or it's Kinoa Aguma. A brown bear on the left is only found in Hokkaido, mm. and it's the same species as we have in North America, brown bears. Mm. Uh, sometimes we call them grizzly bears, but it's, it's the same, same species. Here are brown bears in Kamchatka. Yes. The mother with two cubs. Notice the. Notice the there. This, so this is in the eastern part of Russia. And notice that they're on snow, right? So they are lighter in color than the ones in Japan because they live in a very snowy environment. Okay, here's the ones in Japan, brown bears in Hokkaido. And this picture shows you the kind of place that they live. They like places where there's food. So here in the river is food. What kind of food? Sun. Yes. Yes. And that's right. There you go. This, this scoop, uh, very, very good at fishing. Uh, so this bear, Hokkaido brown bear, is only found in Hokkaido, and there are maybe 2,500 of them. And Japan Red Data Book, Japan Red Data Book is about endangered species, endangered species, and. Um, Japan has many endangered species. So in parts, in parts of Hokkaido, local populations are endangered. 
Okay, here's another one. It's, 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 see, it's darker than the ones in the eastern part of uh, Russia. And it has a white face. Interesting color. Okay, this is the distribution of brown bears and uh, over many, uh, four different years. So most recently, you can see that the brown bears are distributed throughout Hokkaido. Some places they're concentrated. So in Shire Toko Kokuritsu Koen, here, there are many. Too many. many. <laughs> Too many, many. bears. In, in, well, in Shire Toko, the problem is that it is now a World Heritage Site. So there are more people going there. So there are more meetings between bears and humans. Mombets, mm -hmm. yeah, Mombets. Yeah, Mombets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mombets, yeah. Mombets is, is not so many bears. <laughs> and in, uh, of course, in the central part of Hokkaido, there are bears. So they're distributed widely um, because agriculture is also distributed widely. And many of these bears feed on crops. Here's damage to corn in Hokkaido. They, they come in and they eat the corn very fast. Um, there are a few uh, deaths of humans uh, from these bears, but not very many. Maybe one per year. One human per year dies because of um, uh, higuma. This is the distribution of the black bears. Some of them are found as far west as in um, uh, India and uh, uh, through parts of China, north part of Vietnam, many, many different places, and uh, of, of course in Japan as well. And uh, this is what uh, Iguma looks like, out of the uh, Kinoa Guma looks like. Yeah. Um, this is a healthy one that has lots of food. Um, they are only found in Honshu and Shikoku, and the estimated population is 12,500. Now, parts of the range of these bears, uh, they, these are uh, very low numbers, and so um, the IUCN, which is the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, says that they are vulnerable, which means that they are likely to go extinct. The Japan Red Data Book says the same thing. Here's uh, Tsukinoa Guma in Nagano Ken. Um, I took these pictures about three years ago. And this is uh, a place called Jonen Dake, which is west of uh, Matsumoto up in the mountains. And just below the snow, there's some nice grass here. And these bears feed on the grass. So this is a close-up. These bears are feeding on young grass in the springtime. So this was June, July. This is the distribution of um, black bears in Japan. Most of them are concentrated in Hokuriku and Chubu. But there are three, four small populations. There's a very small population in Shikoku, maybe 10 or, 10 or 20 bears. There's a small population in the western part of Chugoku, and there's a small population in the eastern part of Chugoku, and down here in um, uh, Mie, Nara, and Wakayama Ken. There's a very small population. So most of them are here. Most of that 12,500 are here. So just think about these four po small populations, and we'll talk about them later. I saw this recently in the um, northern part of uh, Hyogo King. Beware, bears. This is a uh, natural forest in Hyogo, and bears like natural forest. There's lots of food there, donguri from um, from uh, oak trees and uh, other types of uh, nuts and fruits and berries. So this is this is good habitat for bears. This is not so good. This is plantation forest, and uh, these, as you know, probably are two species that were planted about 60 years ago, and.
and uh, they are now, so they're big trees, but it's dark inside the forest. Inside here, there's not much light. And so there's not, there's no food in, in these forests for, for bears and other animals, not just bears, but monkeys and other animals. So what do they do? They come into agricultural areas. They come into urban areas sometimes, but mostly into agricultural areas and cause problems. These are data from 2004 and 2006. Um, again, about one death per year in, uh, uh, the, in the year 2004 and in 2006 from Skinawatuma and some injuries as well. So this is the history of bears in Japan. Bears were either hunted, which is the blue part, and in Hokkaido, hunting has been fairly steady since, uh, uh, well, uh, since the past, but, but the, the amount of hunting has decreased. What has increased, what it did increase for a while, uh, was nuisance bears. These are all bears that have uh, been in conflict with humans. And uh, so you can see that nuisance bears, which is bears that uh, uh, come into agricultural areas, they are killed because of conflicts with humans. There's less interest these days in hunting. People, young people don't particularly like to hunt. So the blue part is, is less and less. So these are numbers, numbers of bears killed, and you can see in 1963, which is a long time ago, in um, Hokkaido, about 800 bears were killed. So uh, let's, uh, let's go back here. This is the picture for black bears. It's similar to brown bears. Hunting has decreased, the, the blue part. Hunting has decreased, but the nuisance bears have been high. They still remain as high as they were in the 1960s. And so this is 2003, if we now look at more recently, 2004 was a, a, a big year for bears killed in, again, um, Honshu mainly. Um, 2004, more than 2,000 bears killed. 2006 was even worse, 4,500 bears were killed in Japan. And uh, a little later, I'll show you data from more recently. This, this you can't see this. Um, this is a data set that um, was collected by a, a non-government organization that's interested in bears. And what you can't see here is, is um, uh, the number of bears in each of the prefectures in Japan. Uh, this non-government organization phoned every prefectural office and said, how many bears do you think you have in your prefecture? So this is not scientific data, but is the only data we have from each of the prefectures. And these numbers down here, one, two, and three, refer to the three areas of Japan, uh, in western Japan, where there are low numbers, and I'll show you these in more detail in a minute. So low numbers of bears are in the, um, uh, the prefectures in western Japan. Higher numbers are in central and northern Japan. 